Hello, star seeds. Welcome to the edge. If you're a first time visitor, if you're a returning visitor, thank you so much for your energetic love, light, and support as we continue to grow the channel and the brand. Please bear with me. I know the camera angles aren't the best, but I've been testing out. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I've been testing out some new equipment as far as uh, mounts and things are concerned. And we're about to switch up the deco here in a little bit. Um, first and foremost, I want to thank everyone who has pre-ordered the new deck. Um, the shipment should be here in a couple days so I'll actually be able to feature the deck on the channel for those that are waiting to see what the deck looks like before purchasing um, again thank you for your participation in helping us grow and I hope you enjoy it it is an oracle deck so the messages are going to be um, themed in duality there's going to be some dark and light messages in there um, we wanted to start out with something more uh, flexible for all levels of readers or just people personally who enjoy uh, esoteric items and products, okay? So I'm excited. <clears throat> this is just going to be a quick energy check-in. I'm not really sure what's going to come out. I'm intuitively getting that... Um, there may be someone thinking of you heavily. Actually, we're going to call this reading a dream catcher reading. If there's someone that has been on your mind, but uh, in reality, it's like a different situation. I know personally, I have been tethering very easily as of late. Um, I don't know. You know, sometimes I understand what the visions mean and sometimes I don't. Um, if there is a particular person that's on your mind, it trust and believe it's for a definitive reason. Um, you may need to get a message to this person or this person may be thinking of you. Either way, there are things that happen in the 5D, the astral realm, that may not necessarily happen in 3D. You want to trust your higher self always. Um, I've been trying to recharge and divvy up my time between my children and this next leg of and season of my deliverables that I'm currently uh, working on and trying to manifest keeping in mind that the mission is always at the forefront of my mind so we're going to go ahead and see what this person is not telling you in the 3d okay this is going to be a dream catcher reading all right how does this person really feel about you collective you have <laughs> the al Uza star of venus this person has a lot of love to give. They may just be waiting for you to say when. Let's read out of the Rumi Oracle what this means. By the way, we are using the Rumi Oracle deck by Alana Fairchild. The art illustrated in the deck is, I believe, by Rasuli, a very, uh, very talented artist. I personally like all of his artwork or all of their artwork and I know that it's been used in a couple different authors decks very uh talented artist so let's go ahead and read into number 26 which is the al Uza star of Venus 26 may be significant you also have uh which derives to eight <clears throat> I am the pure light, my son. I am not a handful of worthless dust. I am not just an empty shell. I am a regal pearl formed in this world. Close your eyes to see and become aware of me. Perceive me with eyes that see the unseen. Come into the mystery to find me. I am a carefree visitor here for you. Your person may be wanting to tell you this 
possibly they have been in some way, shape, or form, or fashion, if you have been visiting each other in the dream state. Um, you may have plans with this person, unbeknownst in the 3D, to build something or collaborate in some kind of way and you have been hesitating on a response collective. Now, this could be for several reasons, but when it comes to the divine and the mission, you don't wanna to hesitate too long because you may be sending off the wrong signal. So take it upon yourself before the end of the weekend to um, deliver some form of reassurance in you know, only the creative way that you know how collective. We are all eclectic, and a part of a greater genre of people and we all are very very talented i've seen several people in the collective not just on tarot land but outside of youtube very creative people and i get inspired every day by how people find new ways to contribute and i support the movement a hundred percent you know, I don't judge. I don't care what color you are. I don't care what your affiliation is, your sexuality, your any of those things. I'm not a prejudiced person. I believe that everybody can make a difference as long as the mission is at the for forefront of your mind. Okay? So salute to all of you. The star of Venus is the great and androgen. Neither solely masculine nor feminine, but an integration of both. The power it bestows is mighty and based utterly in love. When this star seeks us out, multiple blessings are bestowed and our spiritual growth can be accelerated in ways that may be quite dazzling and surprising to our more limited mindset and belief systems. With great blessings, great growth is possible. However, the blessings don't do the growth for us, making it magically happen. They give us the oomph we need, the power and the opportunities and assistance we need. Yet it is still we who take the journey. So what I'm getting is this person may be encouraging you through the dream state to solidify your decision or possibly re-encouraging you, giving you a sense of uh, support that you are indeed on the right path. Um, even if there may be uh, antagonist type energies, you know, bashing you, talking about how you create things, or, you know, it's not as good as this person or that person, um, don't give up. This person may be reassuring you that you are on the right track, that um, there is an opportunity for collaboration here, or it may already be taking place. Um, I'm hearing all you have to say is when. That may be the title of this reading. All you have to say is when. Dream catcher reading. We have house. Okay, the number four may be significant. Hold on one second. Oh, this is another card fell. House. You also have letter. So this person may be penning a letter or communicating in some kind of way. Um, they may be thinking about union or visiting you or possibly sending you a message to your home. Interesting. If this could be taken in a lot of different ways, you have number 27 and four. So you have nine, eight, and four may be significant to someone. You also have <laughs> the whip as the mutual energy. Number 11, also deriving to two. This person may be trying to become disciplined in the energetic pull of this connection. Um, before, they kind of like, you know, slept on it. They weren't really sure what to believe or think about it. But now they're beginning to see a deeper meaning and purpose behind it. I'm also getting um, co-authoring, co-creating. You may actually be visiting this person in the dream state, co-creating. I recently had a vision while I was sleeping that I was like that part in the matrix where Morpheus is explaining to Neo that everything is uh, assimilation and the whole background was white. They were in a room of literally nothing. That's what it seemed like. Like I was with this other person and we were in 
in a blanket of nothing and literally we were like creating things together like with our minds it was so crazy like it was such a vivid dream that, you know, it's happened for a couple days in a row now that I don't, like, it'll be hard to forget. This is a sign that if you are having transformative or vivid dreams reoccurring, that there is a significance to this person in your life. You may want to reach out to them or pay attention to the signs that they are giving you in the 3D to see if maybe they too are having the dreams. I think that that is a major um, possibility of why there's hesitance because maybe in the past collective you've had, I mean, you may be an intuitive person, so you may have visions of people all the time, but you know, you've tried to reach out and get messages to certain people and they look at you like you're crazy. So you may be keeping things to yourself to not only protect the identity of the other person, but maybe to protect your visions and what they mean. But if this person is also visiting you in the astral realm, in the 5D, they're going to give you a sign, a very distinct sign that is undeniable that they too are having dreams of you or visiting you in dreams. All right, one on the house. One on the house. Holy Spirit. Mm. We have anchor. They are securing a foundation in the home space. Perhaps they are, you have nine twice now. Perhaps they are setting up something for you or with you. Uh, building a foundation, a strong foundation and anchoring it there. Notice that this anchor, the graphic of this anchor, the tips of the anchor are two hearts. Okay. And it's shrouded in forget-me-nots this person may be alluding to you that you are hard to forget or they'll never forget you and the impact that you have had on their journey one on the letter whoa you have the moon so this person may be communicating with you in a way that is secretive possibly to protect you and them or each other um, from people interfering in the connection. So you, if you receive some kind of communication from this person, you may want to reread or re-listen through it or review it to see if there's any clues there as to what exactly the instruction of the sign was. Perhaps you're missing something. Um... And in doing so, you may be enlightened to what exactly their true intentions are. Use your discernment because sometimes people may mislead you, but ultimately this is something that you don't want to simply overlook. This person may be feeling they don't really know where you stand because you're not responding. You may want to take some time before the weekend's over to do exactly that. The whip is clarified by the crossroad i'm also getting master numbers here so there's definitely uh an energy of master building energy 11 and 22 those are master numbers uh they are definitely caught at a crossroad as to which direction to go um in regards to this connection and they may be requiring you to speak up and exactly what direction is next they may be open to um, ideas from you from this Holy Spirit um, whatever this is okay all right let's get some writer waiting here we're at almost 15 minutes so I'm gonna make it quick I've been trying to keep my reading short uh, to you know and get them up quicker and do more of them uh, the moon and the letter is clarified by the King of Cups. This person may be very emotional in expressing how they feel, but they're very stern at the same time. They may be holding back, uh, they're holding their emotions or how deep they are. I'm hearing how deep is your love. Um, how 
How deep is your love? How deep is your love? I really need to know. Cause we're living in a world of fools. Breaking us down. Yeah. Okay. And we all should let us be. You belong to... Okay. So... There, I know there's many versions of that song, but that's the one that comes to mind for me. One on Anchor and House. Yeah. They're confused as to whether they should lay their anchor here or not. A foundation. They're burdened by the confusion because they're not getting a solidified response from you. One on the King of Cups. Page of Cups. So this person wants to come in and bring an offer they might be shy of bringing in this offer because they don't really know they they also may have a strong sense or fear of rejection perhaps they've been rejected a lot in the past they may also feel like you're out of their league but for whatever reason I don't know why they feel like that you may not even be a person that's like like that you see what I'm saying um you may not be a person that judges people on certain things maybe they have overheard you or seen you be a very outspoken person on the public front and they think that that may uh be the whole faceted uh way that you outlook in life but people have to understand that perspectives change as people evolve um and people shouldn't be held to their mindset on certain things from years ago versus now because things can constantly change as we evolve and acquire more knowledge on certain things. So crossword, uh, crossroad and whip is clarified by the sun. This person may be happy or there may be some light being shed on the fact that this person feels burdened by not really being sure of their emotions but they ultimately know on some form of fashion you being in their life in this way brings them happiness they just may not even know what to do or what direction to carry out in regards to not getting a response from you i'm also getting the sun clarified by the king of pentacles you make this person feel good you make this person look good um maybe in the past they felt like you know you came from two different worlds, but ultimately they're beginning to realize that somehow it works and they may want to pursue this on a more professional and assertive front. Definitely do not hesitate to reassure this person that um, you're dedicated and you're in for the long run. Perhaps you may want to solidify the partnership. Um by giving this person a response to their offer. Hmm. I lie about my feelings for you because I'm protecting you from the karmic. So this person may have to communicate with you in secret or in a sneaky way because they know that there's a lot of people that may hate or try to harm you. Um, hence the reason why they are being so elusive with their communication. But a truth is being revealed here. Perhaps that they do want to pursue some kind of par partnership with you. And abundance is on the way. This person feels abundant. Every time either of you touch something, it literally manifests. It's like a co-creator's Midas touch, if you will. And this people, uh, this this group, this collective, this person is realizing that now how powerful this connection is. They may want to, um, you know, as, in regards to the karmic, they want to dead that situation with the coffin because they know how loyal you are to your cause. Clarified by the dog and the key. You are the key factor to manifesting whatever this is that they want to bring into the 3D. And they may be offering you some kind of legitimate offer with the ring, whether that is work-related or uh, a promise to, you know, take things to the next level in regards to partnership. Take that how it resonates. It could be personal. It could be work. Um, whatever type of dynamic you have with this person. 
maybe they're confused on which way to go because you both work really well together but they also may be attracted to you my advice to you is figure out what you want to do because you can't build both at the same time it's very rare that you're able to um personally work and personal don't mix but very few people are able to uh separate the two so it's just a matter of you know what maturity level people are on who are involved and also what's going to be the most beneficial to the cause maybe this person may want to start out with working with you on something on a legitimate level or this person may want to just sweep you off your feet it really depends on how the connection is going to play out okay let's get one more for the road perhaps this is what this person is confused about because they find you both alluring on a professional and emotional front with emotional balance all they know is that your energy brings them balance and they need that in their life they also know that you're really good at building and they don't want to miss out on this golden opportunity to build with you mm. very very informative Okay, so that's going to conclude the Dreamcatcher reading. I hope that you enjoyed it. It was informative for you. And until next time, Starseeds, tune in a couple hours for Starseed After Dark. Later.